What is going on guys, Jungan123 and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, attend a cute charm glitch. This does require a lot of lots and lots of patience. But in this method I'm going to show you the easy way for those who really do not understand how to do a lot of calculations and math. And yes, it is really complicated to do, but since I have not looked for online for the easy way, but I did look for some easy ways. So I just watched some guys videos, so I will give you guys a link in the description below if you want to see one of his walkthroughs. It's one of those cute charm walkthroughs, but... And, well, I did look at his videos, and, and really, it really works. So right now, the chance of this shiny is, is I mean, to attend this is a 0 0.01 chance. So it is really difficult to do, but it is really worth it for the 20... 24, I believe. Give me a second, guys. Uh, actually, yeah, 21 out of point, 21 point 34 percent chance of getting a shiny. It only works in Gen 4 games, so like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Pearl, Diamond, and Platinum. They they only work. Gen 5 possible, but I don't think it will work the way it is intended to be. So right now I will show you another shiny. Like I said, it's it's a 21.34% chance of getting shiny. So I will show you guys another shiny, but I probably won't be catching it. I'm gonna show up if I know where to be. Alright, you know what? Alright. Alright guys, so... So now you know... Um, about the 21.34 chance of getting a shiny. Alright, so the next thing is I will be showing you how to do it the easy way so that you guys don't be doing this. But the bad news is it does require um, an actual, not an actual, not, you need like an R4 chip to do is Like I have an R4i or DS2 works as well. But the original cartridge does not work. All you got to do if you want to get it to work, you actually got to do it with luck. So you got to keep restarting, you got to start a new game, keep restarting, restarting until you get the um, correct ID. You can download the C calculator, it will know if you have the right or not. So today, I will show you the stats I have right now, but you can't see it. So we're going to go on the computer, and I'll show you guys how it's done. I'll see you guys over there. Alright guys, now I'm back to the computer. Alright, so now I will tell you full details. Oh, it will be that complicated because like, there's like a lot of people who are trying to figure out this glitch. But then, like I said, you will need an R4 card or DS2, any stuff like that. A modded chip card to play your DS games. Original cartridges, you can still work on that. Or emulators, you can do this too. But with the original cartridge, it will be really hard, so you have to do it with patience. But this is, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the way on a cartridge or the hack cartridge a DS2 or for I or the emulator alright so right now I'm gonna be going finding my uh, my platinum save file real quick uh, first let me insert my uh, for I micro SD card give me a second alright so now this comes up right here First, let me find my platinum save editor. 
Alright. So now I'm going to open this up. Alright. X this out. Don't worry about that. This, just letting you know, this is not necessarily hacking. But it's just a, just some kind of glitch. You can get yourself like, uh, like easy Chinese. Alright, so what I'm going to do is find my save file, which is on my SDHC right here. So I'm going to be looking for my platinum save right here, not to complete the platinum save. So what I'm going to do is open this up, go to my SDHC drive, games, and it's going to show you all the save files. But what you're going to look for is your platinum. If you're doing this for hard cold, soul silver, and the emulator, or a hack cartridge, you can do the same thing with hard cold, soul silver. Just follow the steps. Alright, so I'm going to click on my Platinum Save. And it's going to show you everything. Of course, it's going to look complicated, but really it isn't. So first of all, you want to copy what I have right here. But if you cannot see the training ID or secret ID, here, I'll help you out. So you don't really need this, so just X is all here. Uh, I have everything to save it. Oops. Here, I'll, I'll just put it in a way. ID is... Two four two one four. Your secret ID is two four one one eight. So you're gonna you're gonna copy these down. Make sure they're not um, anything identical like these on the ID or will not work. Make sure the secret ID is this and the ID is this. So once you're done, I'll give you guys a second to copy this down, or you can pause it. Alright, so now you're done with it. I'm gonna X this out. I don't need to save it. Alright, the multiplayer avatar really does not matter. All you gotta do is just copy the trainer ID and the secret ID of all these right here. Alright. Um you can do this all you want, but just be aware I'm not responsible for what happens in your game. Like if you have items that you cannot use anymore. I'm sorry, but that's just doing your own risk. I don't know if it will happen anyway. You can also edit your Pokédex. Like, if you haven't completed the game, you can get the national or whatever like that. That's up to you. The repel steps, location. Leave that alone. You don't want to mess with that. All right, here's the part where it gets to the part where you're going to try to get the cliff glitch, the q turn glitch. So you want to go to storage, where it says edit. You want to find, for example, an empty space, like it says none or 21. I will find my um, Cleffa, if I can find it. Just Cleffa, where did I put Cleffa? Yeah, I'll start a new one, it doesn't matter. It's probably in my party box. Yes, yeah, yeah, there you go, see? All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, just put like edit or load. But for example, I'm just going to go edit, and this is going to pop up. Alright, not that really um, hard, but I'll show you right now. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is make sure you copy these two IDs. It's really important if you put these two IDs, because that's how you're going to affect the q charm glitch. The level doesn't matter, but I'll kind of edit to level 20, because like, so I can escape stuff easily, but make sure... You can play any level you want, it's a matter, but I'm gonna put level 20 because it's just important. Alright, the PID, um, the player, that's the player ID. But even though it's long, but that's how it is. That's how, that's how you're also supposed to do if you want to flick the Q charm glitch too. If you mess up any kind of number, it will not work. If you cannot read these, I will show you in, in, the, in, the, in the notes. So, the PID is. Is three seven two zero six zero one zero nine four. All right, that's the player ID. So you want to put it down on the PID right here. Give you guys a few seconds to put this down. All right. So once you guys put that down. Um, I would recommend pull all of these on all 31 IVs and the EVs too. All 25 is going to make you stronger. If you really want to trade it, it probably won't able to. You can edit these all you want. You don't have to. Alright, the moveset. Um, 
what you're gonna do just copy these down and then the PP um, put, I put all them to zero um, and then max IP um, ups three is supposed to do that so copy these down it's just say pound toxic wake up slap and done the wave next if you wanna change the pokeball you want doesn't matter I put my pokeball and the ability that's that's how it all started if you want to use a glitch so you want to search up cute and it's just gonna be right there not chlorophyll not all of these cute charm all right so now after that you don't have to edit these but that's up to you all right now you can put any type of um, language you want does not really matter to me the next thing I just put clefo because that's what it is Mad level 28, 12, Vilestone City. Alright, so anyway, once you got everything settled, just in case you got these two matched up, the PIED, the Q Charm, and that's basically it. Alright, once again, if you already copied these down, then I guess you're done. So, what you're wanting to do now is, is same thing for the emulator where you had the directory. So what I'm gonna do is save as find your um, Pokemon Platinum save. Yes, you want to replace it. All right, no for the emulators. If you're gonna use Desmume, just go to um, open, um, import or export something like that. Ex export battery. Find your dot save. Click on it, and then it's gonna restart the emulator and it's gonna reopen the save file and then you'll be directed to the save file with the QCharm glitch and if you check your ID it will show your ID and that means it has worked for you and now once you're done and saved I will resave just in case so pop up my platinum save yes once you're done that's it make sure you get your cleft off in your box loaded to your party it doesn't matter but I, I would it's optional if you put clef on your first party. So anyway, that's safe if you want to, if you want to save your Pokemon, but it doesn't really matter as long as you save it. So once you've done it, that's it. So now you want to take out your USB or micro SD. I have a micro SD adapter, so I can use it for my um for my Pokemon saves, whatever like that. So I want to put in your DS and just load up Pokemon Platinum and then I'll show you the rest and how it actually works I'll see you guys there alright guys now once you did all of that stuff I did on you um, on the video now I'm gonna be showing you um, how it, it actually works as of today so I'm gonna load up my R4i or the emulator you can already do that I'm gonna find my Platinum file I'm going to start it up. Just letting you let you know. Here it is, my platinum. The save, I mean the cheats are off. See right there. So I'm not going to activate it, so I'm going to save right there just in case it doesn't activate the cheats. And I'm going to start up Pokemon Platinum. You can buy these at ndscard.com. They cost around $10. It's really worth it, but the shipping is like 30 days. I mean to arrive the delivery is like 30 days but the shipping is like one day so it's really cool but the free shipping is like 31 days so it really takes a long time so anyway I will show you it worked so first you want to check your um, ID and it's going to show you right here that's the ID that we put it and then you can edit your money if you want but I, f I forgot to t show you guys about it so now once you've done it, you can, you know, get your clef out of your PC, and it'll be right here. My clef didn't go to level 20 because I didn't save it to the Pokemon data, but not the Pokemon save. But anyway, let's just see if it works. Like I said, it's 21.34% chance, so sometimes it won't, um... Encounter it, but you just gotta like keep it counter. It will work. Trust me. All right, I'll show you guys the demonstration, and it actually works.
So let's go to another route because this one has not really good Pokemon. So we're gonna go to let's go to right here, the beginning route of Jubilee City. Let's go there. Alright. Let's go down to the route, get um party shings if that's it's gonna encounter it. So just give it count down so it works. There you guys go. So the cute charm worked after all. So if you guys need help after all, I'll be glad to help you on this cute charm glitch. So if you guys need any help, just you know comment down below and I'll be glad to help you. If it doesn't work, just keep replaying the video because I kind of demonstrated the entire video and then it's really easy. So, but if you want to do it on a real cartridge. Yeah, good luck with that because I really cannot help you. All I, all I can say is that keep restarting, but it does require you to do a new game. So that kind of sucks about it part. But for the emulators, well, you're lucky because you really don't need to. Um, so you really, do, yeah, you really don't need to um, reset your data or delete your data. So anyway guys, um, that's it for today guys, I hope this helped you guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, peace out.